Hello everyone. Uh, I apologize if there is wind uh, buffeting on the microphone on the bottom of my iPhone 7. But uh, there's a nice cool northwest wind right now after a hot and muggy day. But uh, I'll make this a, uh, a series on uh, build a flatbed on your Ranger, which could apply to you know, many other trucks. I just tried to fill up gas here at this great holiday gas station here. Um, I had to slap this uh, sheet of plywood on the back of my 2009 Ranger. Um, late Wednesday night this last week. It is uh, Sunday night, Monday morning right now. I had to put this on because um, the transmission in my other Ranger started making noise uh, Monday of last week. And, uh, well, I'm guessing I'm not legal because I don't have uh, the rear tires completely covered. I do have tailgates. It's... Uh, I got a, a zip tie. It's a, that's a redneck edition uh, for the tail lights right there, but it's zip tied with a pool noodle. So I've been driving it like this, um, well, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and it's uh, about four days. But I just ran into a problem that I did not foresee. You see, hanging right down in the middle. It's kind of dark. That's the gas filler neck right there. There, I have a locking gas cap. I put locking gas caps on everything I own. You know, to keep idiots from putting sugar in the gas tank, that kind of thing. I actually had someone try to do that to my Mustang about uh, 35 years ago. Even though there is an anti-siphon device down uh, down the neck of the gas filler thing, I still put locking gas caps on almost every vehicle I buy. So, but to get to the point, the problem I ran into just a few minutes ago, uh, trying to put gas in this truck is, um, I lifted, lifted this, uh, you know, on the end of this up, you know, after I took the gas cap off, and even at that point, um, it was too low. It was this. This is kind of a shallow V. The um, the hose and the elbow there is kind of in the V pattern, and it would fill fill in with gas, and then the automatic stop on the on the hose would stop so I only put 70 cents worth of gas in there and it just would stop so that's what you got to think about when you're building a flatbed on uh, really whatever you know your s10 Chevy your Toyota your Nissan uh, whatever you're building a flatbed on your f-150 your Dodge your Chevy uh, gotta have the filler, the opening for the filler, high enough that uh, gravity will um, let the gasoline flow into the tank. So I get about a quarter, quarter, uh, quarter of a tank of gas in it right now. So I'm gonna run an errand the grocery store and go home go to bed and uh, after I wake up today I'm gonna have to modify gonna have to modify this flatbed so that uh, I can get that gas filler neck up higher so I can put gas in it so so uh, but I think I'm gonna make a series uh, on uh, building the flatbed on this I know there's other videos on YouTube about building a flatbed on your Ranger but Anyway, I thought there'd be something I could show people, inform people about. So, all right, uh, well, thanks for watching. See you, bye.